northern half of the forest in Europe are privately owned. But at the same time, the private forest owners are not the owners of the mushrooms. For example, here in Finland, we have a situation that the forest owner has no rights related to the mushroom. Fantastic, yes, yes, yes. But it's every man's right to come and to pick these mushrooms and berries, so the forest owners are not really benefiting from them. Lactarius. The problem is that uh, if you want that the forest owner invests in the proper forest management that would really foster the growth and production of these mushrooms, for example, or berries, then we have also to get him involved in a way that or he benefits from it directly or indirectly. So it can be also through tax uh, reductions and other, other measures that the policymakers are able to put into place. Eight hundred and sixty-six picked berries. Research can help by bringing good examples from other places. So, for example, Finland certainly has done quite a lot already in this field, especially when it comes to taxation, to have better under control also the harvesting of these mushrooms. But in some other countries, they took a different approach or they didn't took any approaches yet. So, by by showing these examples and showing good practices, we can help a lot. Mm -hmm.